Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's Grade 6, Unit 2, Lesson 5, Practice Problem Review is on equivalent ratios. In number one, each of these is a pair of equivalent ratios. For each pair, explain why they are equivalent ratios or draw a diagram that shows why they are equivalent ratios. Well, if I look from 4 to 5 and 8 to 10, from 4 to 8, I'm multiplying by 2, and from 5 to 10, I'm multiplying by 2. So since we're multiplying by the same number, we're just doubling the ratio, and so that's why it's equivalent. Now, on the surface, 2 to 7 and 10,000 to 35,000 seems like a stretch. But from 2 to 10, we're multiplying by 5, so from 2 to 10,000, we're multiplying by 5,000. And again, from 7 to 35, it's times 5, and 7 to 35,000 would be times 5,000, and so we're multiplying by the same number, and so it's an equivalent ratio. 18 to 3 and 6 to 1, and you know, what are we multiplying by? We're dividing by 3, which is the same thing as multiplying by 1 third here. 3 divided by 3, or times 1 third, gets us to the 1, and so we're multiplying by the same thing, so it is an equivalent ratio. Now, in question number two, explain why 6 to 4 and 18 to 8 are not equivalent ratios. Well, from 6 to 18, we're multiplying by 3. And now we have two options here. We can show that 4 times 2 is 8, and so these aren't the same, so it's not an equivalent ratio. You could also say, well, 4 times 3 would be 12, and, well, 8's not equal to 12 up there, so it's not equivalent. Now, are the ratios 3 to 6 and 63 equivalent? Why or why not? Same kind of logic here, right? If I take 3 times 2, I get 6. But then for 6 to 3, it's times 1 half. So no, not equivalent. Why or why not? Not multiplying. By same number. Question four. This diagram represents three batches of light yellow paint. Draw a diagram that represents one batch of the same shade of light yellow paint. Well, we're taking three batches down to one and 3 divided by 3 is what's equal to 1, and so we need to break this into thirds. Well, right now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 cups of white. So if I divide that by 3, I'll get 3 cups of white. And for this yellow, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 divided by 3 is going to be 5. So for white paint, and that's in cups, we're going to have 3. 1, 2, 3. And the yellow paint cups is going to be 5. One, two, three, four, five. Relating that to this lesson, nine to fifteen is equivalent to three to five because we're multiplying both of those by one third. All right, let's continue on. Question five. In the fruit bowl, there are six bananas, four apples, and three oranges. So answer the following questions. For every four apples, there are three oranges. The ratios of something to something is six to three. Well, there's six bananas and three oranges, and the order here matters a great deal. Four to six ratio. Well, that would be four apples to six bananas. And now the toughest part is here. For every one orange, there are blank bananas. Well, for every three oranges, there were six bananas. Well, 
Looks like I'm dividing by three or multiplying by one third there, and so this is going to be two bananas. Now, write fractions for points A and B on the number line. Well, right now we're going in between zero and one, and how long does it take us? It takes us one, two, three, four, five, six. So this number line is divided into sixths. A looks like it's at two-sixths here, which is equivalent to one-third when simplified, and B is five-sixths. And that is it for this lesson, lesson, oh, sorry, grade six, unit two, lesson five on defining equivalent ratios. Good luck.